Today let's talk about the top 4 best dramas of Yangtze. This list is according to me after watching her dramas and I felt that her acting in these dramas are very eccentric. The fourth one is Immortal Samsara. It is a 2022 fantasy drama. In this series, there is an emperor known as Ying Yuan played by Cheng Yi. When the fight goes on between the different clans, he protects the ancient tribe flower known as Fort Leaf Lotus and from it arise the sole descendants of the tribe, that is twin sisters by the name Yang Dan played by Yang Zi and Zi Zi played by Meng Zi Yi. It is said that the elder sister will be weak while the younger one that is Yan Dan played by Yang Zi will be powerful. The story proceeds further when Yan Dan faces the greatest trial of her life, the love trial. And this she faces because of Lord Ying Yuan whom she likes a lot. This is a good one to watch and Yang Zi is really good in the series. Now let us see some of the reviews which I read online based on the drama. The first one is, it's absolutely safe to say that this drama is the best of 2022 in its genre. The second one is, their acting and chemistry is on point. Oh my god, I love this drama so much. The third one is, The Oath of Love. It is a 2022 drama which has Yang Zi as Lin Zi Xiao and Zhao Zhan as Dr. Gu Wei as the main lead. The story is about a young woman named Lin Zi Xiao who aspires to be a cellist. Her father becomes unwell and has to undergo surgery. The name of her father's doctor is Dr. Gu Wei, a young smart doctor who has achieved a lot of things at this young age. On the other hand, Lin Zixiao is liked by everyone in the hospital for her sweet and kind nature. Later, the story proceeds by how both of them they meet each other in the hospital, but they have to face a lot of difficulties in their life as they try to move forward. Parents of Dr. Gu Wei wants him to marry a doctor. Since they believe that a doctor's life with struggles etc can be very well understood by a doctor wife, they finally get married in the last episode and settle down. So now let's see some of the reviews which I read online based on the drama. The first one is, the storyline was good, the acting was great and the dialogues were not so cheesy for the most part. The second one is, it is a drama that is easy to follow and will touch you in unexpected ways. So I would recommend a watch for this one. The third one is, the story is medium paced and may have a few flaws, not that any I remember, but it is indeed a beautiful drama. The next one is, Ashes of Love. It is a 2018 drama and it is literally one of the best dramas of Yangtze. I really liked the story, the way it was executed and the characters of the main leads. So the story is about a young woman, Jinmi, who is actually the daughter of the floral goddess, but is hidden away in the floral dream in order to protect her from danger. Later, the phoenix Zhu Feng, played by Deng Lun, accidentally enters into the floral dream after he gets injured and is saved and treated by Jinmi. In turn, he helps her fulfill her wish to see what is there outside the floral dream and he takes her to his clan. Over there, they face difficult situations together leading to misunderstandings between them. We also have an another character known as Runyu, played by Luo Yongzi. He is the best antagonist and no one would have carried it out the way he did. It is a very good and an awesome drama to watch. Now let us see some of the reviews which I read online based on the drama. The first one is, this is superb storytelling, epic, larger than life, well paced and not overly drawn out compared to other C dramas. The second one is, it has everything, a great story, great acting, great music, splendid cinematography and great CGI. The third one is, the drama was decently paced. The biggest sin was the amount of unnecessary flashback. The first one is, Lost You Forever Season 1. This is by far the best drama of Yangtze and I have made few review videos on this one so if you want you can go see them.
So that's it for today's video. If you have liked it, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.